everybody, welcome back to Crafty Bob's Weekly Giveaway. Before we start, I would love to wish our lovely Lorraine a very happy birthday and a happy birthday to everyone else whose birthday it is this week. I hope you all have a wonderful day. In today's episode, we're going to showcase another stunning design by Cynthia Massey. We will show you how to print and post your orders. And this week we have a special guest demonstrator to show you how to make your freebie. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I will begin. Let's get creative with Cynthia's new sheet. It's a swan decoupage card and can be used for an anniversary or birthday. Okay, this is not today's freebie, but this design is absolutely beautiful and I really just wanted to share it with you and show you. I'll give you the cup number, so if you do have a pen close by, um, if you can write this down just so that you don't forget, it's CUP 948112 and it's an underscore 3367. This sheet is 80p and I do like to remind all our crafters that don't forget the more times you print off the better value it becomes for you. All right, here's a card that's been created with the sheet. Um, as you can see, they've used eight by eight white card. They've mounted it onto, uh, onto the white card, sorry, and they've used um, an absolutely beautiful Martha Stewart heart-shaped page punch just around the edge there. It is absolutely beautiful. Just sets it off perfectly, I think. Um, we do have the 3D... Um, uh, shaped um, foam pads, I couldn't remember what I was going to say then, the foam pads just add depth to these flowers, they're absolutely beautiful. And then um, Cynthia started to really, really personalise it. As you can see there, uh, we've got some silver leaves um, just to add a, a beautiful embellishment there. She's added her own um, ribbons, but she's used two, and she's also used a beautiful rose um, just to finish it off there. I mean, you crafters, you're amazing. Here, I, I just think this is absolutely great. It's different colour. It brings out the, the card. They're bulrushes, and she's made um, little wires there, as you can see, with brown seeds on, on the edge there. Just it is just absolutely beautiful. She's given shape to the um, butterflies there, just adding depth again. I just think you crafters are just brilliant. Inside, to finish the card, if you can see there, look, we've got the, um, the insert. The in insert, just to finish, um, comes at 40p. Um, and you do get the, the bottom one there and you get the top one there. Uh, I mean, you could even use these as um, just little gift tags if that's what you wanted to do. And um, if you've got your pen there again, I'll just give you the cup number. It's 948113 and it's underscore 3367. And this is 40p for the insert. So obviously, again, the more times you print off, it's just better value. I just oh, absolutely think, it's, for me anyway, it's just great, absolutely brilliant. Thank you, crafters. Now I'm going to show you a short tutorial all about how you can print and post your orders. Enjoy.
UK crafters, it's time to get very excited. Why? Because it's freebie time. Woohoo! This week's freebie design has been provided by our exclusive designer, Julene Harris, and is called Spring Bluebird Pocket Bookmark Card. It's a single sheet that makes this fun novelty bookmark. Um, as you can see, you would uh, obviously cut out the individual elements there, but this is one that's been prepared. Oh, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously, being a bookmark card, you can take that and you can use that with your books when you're reading them. And as a, a recipient of the card, obviously, you can always remember the person that sent it to you. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Now with this sheet, obviously you don't get these embellishments and as a crafter I always think that it's the way you make the card your own and just look at these embellishments, I just think they're absolutely super and unusual but you can do whatever you wish, it's your choice, it's your card, I just think as a beautiful card like this you can do lots of things with it you could send it as a birthday card, um, as a anniversary card, whichever you wanted to and now I will hand you over to the beautiful designer, Jolene, who lives in Wyoming, USA, and she will show you how to make this wonderful card. Over to you, Jolene. Hi, my name is Jolene Harris, and welcome to another episode of CUTV. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make one of my bookmark pocket cards. This one is Spring Bluebird, and it is item number CUP1531434499. And there are some amazing cards that the card makers have um, finished and put up on the website that you should go and take a look at. They've done a really great job. Thank you so much. And this is what our sheet looks like um, on the website when you purchase it and, and print it out. And I'm going to bring you into my workspace so you can see how I do it. You've got your main card design and your pocket and your bookmark. And then I've added a few embellishments for decoupage. And these are pretty detailed pieces when you get to the flowers, but what I love when I use small decoupage, and the decoupage is always optional, kind of depends on what your preference is. I love my Cutter B scissors. They are small, which I love for my small hands. They're extremely sharp. They've got a great point on the tip and my hands never get tired using these and they are great for getting into small spaces. And that's what I've used to cut out these small decoupage pieces. So I'm going to set these aside for now. These look really beautiful when printed out on photo paper. Today I've printed on cardstock and what I'm doing to help um, make the bookmark a little more sturdy and shiny and durable so the recipient can use it for a long time is I have laminated it. And I use laminating sheets in a small home heat laminator and they open just kind of like that and you just slip your items that you want to laminate on the inside it looks kind of cloudy at first when you put it in but once it goes through the heating element and it adheres to your paper in there it comes out really clear and just it's a nice professional look it'll help that bookmark last you a good long time Okay, for the bookmark, what I'm doing with it today, I got on the internet and I purchased, these are little rhinestones. I bought them, these are cell phone bling. They're just, they're little um, peel off stickers and they're not very expensive and I just love to add little embellishments and shiny things to cards. So what I'm doing, I've got some light blue ones here and I'm adding them to the bottom two corners of the bookmark. you can see I know they're really small but they really do make a great impression on a finished card. I'm going to put one up here at the top and that is a great finished bookmark just as is or if you prefer you can add a tassel. I love the tassels I think they look fantastic. And here is one that we'll go ahead and add today. So I have a tassel. You can also use ribbon and just run it through and that looks great as well. 
and some of the card makers I've even seen use um, charms little metal charms that look just absolutely adorable on these okay and what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to create a hole to add my bookmark now I have this this is a crocodile eyelet setter and it also works as a little hole punch now you can just do a hole punch and that's fine I like to use an eyelet to reinforce it make it a little stronger so if the tassel gets pulled on it's a little more durable and then you put your eye see I punched a hole through there you can see that and then I set my eyelet through there and then you can change this to a setting that will take the back of the eyelet and it will flare it out and then it will press it flat on the back side of the bookmark and it does a really great job it's really nice and flush it's not going to snag any pages it gives a really nice little look to the card now if you're using ribbon to put through the hole you can um, wrap the ends with some tape kind of like so it looks like the end of a shoelace to get it to run through really nice these tassels have nice um, little cords that fit through. And there you have the finished bookmark. So we're going to set our bookmark aside and bring out our made card image and our pocket. Now what I do, I take, this is my, um, I call it my creaser board. I use this to make the folds to score my cards. And what I do is I want to score along each of these three tabs along the side and I just kind of line it up on the grooves and run my scoring tool up and down and that will let your tabs fold in really nice with a solid crease okay and then you fold them in like so and then I use my tape gun. People have said my tape gun is just really huge and massive, but I love it. I've been using it quite a lot, and I am still on my first roll of tape. So I love that it lasts me a long time, and I can't lose it. It's just too big. <laughs> and I'm really good at losing things. Okay, now I've made all of those sticky. What I like to do, and this is optional also, as I take a piece of transparent tape and I add it to this bottom flap right here and what this does is when you add it to your card I think I need to turn it this way for you to see is you'll put it your bottom side down first if it's sticking I've got that piece of tape there to cover the edge of that flap so that when your bookmark goes in that it's less likely to catch on that tab there at the bottom this will help it just slide right over and then go ahead and fold in each of your side tabs and press them down and there's our pocket now what I have done is I have added some extra embellishments to the pocket as well. I said these are optional, but I love adding extras. It's just a lot of fun. It makes them look nice. And these, like I said, are really tiny, and I don't have any um, tweezers to help me out here. So I'm going to put one down on the bottom of the pocket. And you can see on the design where they kind of fit, where a little gem is sitting on the design. You put one right up there. And then let's take our decoupage pieces now that I have here. Like I said, these are optional. I'm going just to cut small pieces of double-sided foam tape to 
put on these flowers. It's not very big and I've cut these huge pieces of foam tape. <laughs> okay, go ahead and match that one up there. That just makes those flowers just pop out real pretty. Put my second bunch of flowers down like so. Now before I add this bow, I'm going to take another piece of my rhinestone peel-off stickers and I'm going to put one right in the center of this bow where there's a flower on the center. I'm going to add that right in the center. Make it a little blingy. Okay. Now that that's added, I'm going to put my foam tape on the back of my bow. kind of fun makes that bow pop out on the front of the, the bird birdhouse post and that is the finished um, base card now we'll take our bookmark and all that's left to do is slide it in and you have a finished card topper just like that and that look really nice with the tassel I love that and then I need to create my card base. Again, I'm just gonna use my scoring board and a bone folder. Oops. Make my crease. Just like so. And then on the back side, again, take my ginormous paint or tape gun. Paint gun probably wouldn't be such a good idea. <laughs> and then I just, again, line it up on the card so that it kind of gives an even border on the top and the sides. And then I'm going to have extra at the bottom that I'm just going to take off by getting my paper trimmer. And there you have a finished bookmark pocket card. And there's room, let me pull it up again here. There's room right here on the top of the pocket that you can add a sentiment. You can either write it in by hand or add peel offs or if you have the software to do so, you can um, digitally add your text there if you want before printing out the card. And there you have a finished card. Thank you for joining me for another episode of CUPTV. Um, I enjoy doing these and I look forward to doing the next one and I'll see you then. Thanks, bye. Thank you, Jolene. Your demonstration was very helpful and I really, really love your design. Don't forget to find and follow Jolene next time you visit Craft Shoe Print. Okay, crafters, it's time for me to sign off this week now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click on Crafty Bob in the corner to subscribe and share, 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 share and share some more, please. Remember, we need lots and lots of shares. Share is on Facebook, share is on YouTube and interest and Instagram, interest or even Pinterest, sorry. <laughs> and get creative and visit us at craftshoeprint.com. See you next week. Bye.
One way is to go to the Crafts You Print website. Click on the free stuff at the top. Click here to get your freebie. Next, scroll down and enter your email address here. Then confirm your email and click Submit. We will then send you your fun freebie. If you don't have a printer or if you're having trouble downloading from your mobile device, don't worry, Crafty Bob will print the sheets for you for free. Simply click on the Add to Cart button here and check out in the normal way. A small postage charge will be added and every printed weekly giveaway will receive a free £3 craft gift. Another way to get your freebie is from your dashboard. Let me log in. After you log in, click on freebies, bottom left. Then click on weekly giveaway. You can download your freebie here by clicking on click here to download. 